so I pulled out my old Apple II Plus. And uh, this was once kind of state of the art. Here's uh, slot six, drive one, volume four, drive A, drive B. I had two disc two drives, floppies. I've forgotten at all, uh, probably 500K or 525K or something like that, with uh, parallel cables out the back and connectors. They plugged into the back of uh, these boards, the drive controllers. Here are, this is the motherboard. Uh, here's the plug that goes to my monitor. And it was a little green screen. I think it was an amber screen in this case. So remember, number one screens had depth and a CRT in them. And this one's looking a little bit dusty. But I think the monitor plugs in there. And here's the power cable. And uh, there's a little cable to go out, I think, to the printer. No mouse on this, of course. Just a pretty nice keyboard. I love this keyboard and a big bad power supply. Uh, and one of these cards, I know not which one, Microsoft products, parts, Microsoft card. One of these cards was my uh, 80 column card because when I bought this thing, it only had a 40 column uppercase only display. Characters only, no graphics. And then I got the 80 column Videc card which gave me double the RAM in the computer and fake descenders, not real descenders. Um, and so when games would take over, they would have to just do games, you know, graphic images all over the screen. Um, anyway, it's kind of a blast from the past to bring out uh, this old device and to think about what, it, what I did with it for a while. This was my computer, this was my word processor my first year in grad school. I used PAS UCSD's P system, a Pascal editing environment, as my word processor, because I liked it best. That's what I wrote my papers in. Bah! No email, no nada.